Now we are going to discuss intersection of two planes. Let phi one gives the equation of first plane that is r dot n one is equal to d one and phi two gives the equation of second plane that is r dot n two is equal to d two b two intersecting planes. Therefore, n one cross n two is not equal to zero. So let vector n, which is equal to n one cross n two, be a normal vector, and let both the planes. Suppose this is plane pi one and this is plane pi two. That is pi two plane and this is pi one plane, and both intersect at the point A. So that is suppose A is a point of intersection of plane pi1 and pi2 so point a lie on plane pi1 and point a Also lie on plane pi two. That is, it will satisfy both the equations of plane. So it gives a dot n one is equal to d one and vector a dot n two is equal to d two. As d one is a dot n one, that means R dot n one can be replaced as a dot n one. That will give r minus a dot n one is equal to zero. And similarly, if we replace r dot n two by a dot n two. The value of d two we will get r minus a dot n two is equal to zero. That means if a dot b is zero, that means both these vectors are perpendicular, and if a dot c is zero, that is a and c are perpendicular. That means If we say P of R is on pi one and pi two, then R minus A is perpendicular to n one and R minus A is perpendicular to n two. Therefore, P is not equal to A. Therefore, we can say R minus A as it is perpendicular. So, a vector which is perpendicular to both the plane is n one cross n two. It is R minus A will be in the direction of n one cross n two. So, we can write R minus A. Is equal to k times n one cross n two. That is r minus a is equal to k n.
that is if the plane this is pi 1 and this is pi 2 so this will be the required equation r minus a is equal to k n where a n is the anywhere on the intersection of that plane and r is the also lying in somewhere here and this plane is perpendicular that is above both these planes here some like here is perpendicular to both these planes a vector that is n1 cross n2 so what happens if k is equal to 0 if k is 0 then p becomes a r minus a is equal to 0 that is r is equal to a that is also lie on plane this so in both cases vector r is equal to vector a plus k and is the equation of plane for k belong to r thus if P of R belongs to common plane of pi 1 and pi 2 then vector R is equal to A plus K times N where K belongs to R so this is the equation of a line and every point of intersection of pi 1 and pi 2 is on the line vector r is equal to vector a plus k n for k belongs to R. Conversely, if P of R is on the line vector R is equal to A plus K times N and K belongs to R, then R minus A dot N1 is equal to K N dot N1 that is K value of N is N1 cross N2 dot N1. S is a scalar triple product of three vector and two vectors are same so it will be zero. And also R minus A dot N2 is equal to Kn because R minus A is equal to Kn dot N2 that is K times N1 cross N2 dot N2. Scalar triple product of C vector that is also 0. So K dot 0 is 0. That is P of R belongs to pi 1 intersection pi 2 lying on both the plane. Hence, pi 1 intersection pi 2 is the line given by the equation vector r is equal to vector a plus k n for k belongs to r where vector n is equal to n1 cross n2 is not equal to 0. Thus we can say two planes R dot N1 is equal to D1 and vector R dot N2 is equal to D2 
intersect in the line vector r is equal to a plus k times n1 cross n2 where k belong to r provided n1 cross product with n2 is not equal to 0. So, as the intersection of two plane gives a common line where the points of plane pi1 and pi2 also lie on the plane intersection planes gives the line r is equal to a plus k times n1 cross n2. Now the next topic is equation of a plane passing through the intersection of two planes suppose a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equal to 0. R2 intersecting planes. Now the equation of any plane passing through their line of intersection is as they intersect on a line is given as L times A1x plus B1y plus C1z plus D1 plus M times A2x plus B2y plus C2z plus D2 is equal to 0 providing L square plus M square is not equal to 0. So, we are going to solve a problem based on it, that is, find the equation of the plane passing through intersection of the plane 2x plus 3y plus z minus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus y minus z minus 7 is equal to 0 and also passing through the point 1, 2, 3 and also obtain the equation of line of intersection of these 
explain now the solution is so here we have to find the equation of plane passing through the intersection of plane that is 2x plus 3y plus z minus 1 is equal to 0 and another plane is x plus y minus z minus 7 is equal to 0. So first of all we will check out whether the point 1, 2, 3 is lie on the plane or not. So first of all we are going to check out for the point 1, 2, 3 lie on plane 1 or not. The given plane is x plus y plus minus z minus 7 and we are putting 1, 2, 3 here. So 1 plus 2 minus 3 minus 7. It gives minus 7 which is not equal to 0. That is this point not lying on the given plane. That is 1, 2, 3 is not lying in the required plane. So, suppose the required plane has equation that is 2x plus 3y plus z minus 1 plus lambda times x plus y minus z minus 7 is equal to 0. As we done in the earlier topic we are l times first plane plus m times second plane. We divide whole equation by m or we can say l we get lambda is equal to l by m or m by l so we take here lambda this is number one it passes through it is given that it passes through one two three so we will substitute x is equal to one y is equal to two and z is equal to three so we get 2 into 1 is 2 plus 6 plus 3 minus 1 plus lambda times 1 plus 2 minus 3 minus 7 is equal to 0. So we get 10 plus minus 7 times lambda is equal to 0. That gives lambda is equal to 10 over 7. Therefore, Equation 1 becomes that is 2x plus 3y plus z minus 1 plus lambda times that is 10 by 7 times x plus y minus z minus 1 is equal to 0. That gives 14x plus 21y plus 7z minus 7 plus 10x plus 10y minus 10z minus 10 is equal to 0. That gives 24x plus 31y minus 3z minus 17 is equal to 0. Now this is a question of required plane. Now the direction of line of intersection is given by n1 cross n2 because we have to find the equation of line of intersection of these planes. So we have to find n1 cross n2 which is named as vector n which can be found out by 
थ्री वन वन माइनस वन कॉमा वन टू माइनस वन वन कॉमा डिटर्मिनेंट टू थ्री वन वन दिस इज अ वे हाउ कैन वी फाइंड आउट द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट सो वी गेट माइनस फोर ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस थ्री एंड माइनस वन नाउ दिस इज एन वन क्रॉस एन टू so to get line of intersection we have to make one component zero that's our wish to make x zero y zero or z zero in both the plane so let us take z is equal to zero in both the planes we get 2x plus cy is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to 7 so on solving these equations we get x is equal to 20 and y is equal to minus 30 therefore a point of intersection is 20 minus 30 and 0 therefore as we have the point from where line of intersection is passing therefore the equation of the required line is vector r is equal to vector a plus k times vector n for k belongs to r so we get vector r is equal to a is 20 comma minus 13 comma 0 plus k times vector n that is n1 cross n2 that is 4 minus 4 3n minus 1 for k belong to r so this is a required equation of line of intersection of two planes so in this problem we get equation of required plane that is intersection plane and equation of line of intersection of these planes so this was all about the chapter where we learn about the lines and their properties intersection of two line distance between two parallel lines and same in the cases regarding plane and then again comparing the plane and line angle between line and plane and uh, distance of a line from the plane from a point from the plane that is a perpendicular distance between two lines perpendicular distance between two planes So these are almost similar topics. So we have to take time these topics by solving first of all their article, by making command on the article. Then we will get and we can solve the required question. To understand this, first of all, we have to practice these articles very well. So best of luck to cover this topic.